King's Gambit is to win in the end game. <laughs> That's uh, well, Nigel. The question is, why did you then think so long after this when you didn't really have anything after the Rook F1 business? Ah, because right I, here. Uh, I, I could have played. I could, well, I mean, first of all, I just realised I'd screwed up and it was going to be a draw. Um, that was really what the think was. I can also play Queen C3, can't I? But I, 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 my nerves weren't good enough for making such a move. What were you going to do then? You would have lost on time, you see. That's Probably, yeah. Um, I don't think I was thinking about Queen E4. But Queen E4, okay. Queen E4, and now I play Rook here. Yeah, I was thinking about a quiet move like King G8 here. Yeah, you see, yeah. King G8 was the really irritating move. Yeah. I just thought, you know, or, or you can do... So yeah, some King G8 moves. Yeah, no, it's 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 just too risky. It's too damn risky. The whole thing. Yeah, that's a, the sort of thing that's that's really annoying. You know, you can get carried away. You suddenly think, "All right, okay, I'll I'll try and flag him." And uh, it's really a question of how long. I mean, it, it's that finely balanced. How long is he going to take over over those moves? Maybe if I'd have played it quickly. We've got to wrap up. Okay. So anyway, uh, we exchanged off into this end game, and um, I mean, it's ju it's basically it's a draw. Um, it's just a draw. I mean, the, the, there was um, no way through. Black, even with these uh, double pawns, black can't do anything, and white has got a, a strategically better position, but can't I can't break through. So, uh, as you saw, it ended by repetition. So uh, the king's gambit can it's be just, played. It's just can a be draw. played. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and and the, the last set nine, nine six, yeah. seven, very interesting. Yeah. And the last, yeah, the last comment on on this is um, on the king's gambit. Uh, I was t talking to Kramnik about this opening some time ago, and he said, you know, Evans Gambit, uh, okay, this I understand. You know, this is a logical opening, the Evans Gambit. So the King's Gambit loses a pawn and weakens the king's side. That's it. Remember that. Don't play it. <laughs> Nigel and David, thanks very much indeed.